That wasn't me. Hello everybody, it's I, Brian Stuffy, and today I'll be reviewing the latest Disney flick, Maleficent. If you could tell from the title, this is basically the story of how Maleficent became evil, and it's really Sleeping Beauty from Maleficent's perspective. Now that's a good idea, it is. We learned that Maleficent was a good person when she was younger, she had wings and she was a fairy. And one day, she lost her wings. I can't spoil how she lost her wings, but she loses her wings, and then she becomes kind of evil in a way. You know, the whole story with Sleeping Beauty, you know, she wants to curse it on 16th birthday and everything. I haven't seen Sleeping Beauty since I was a little kid. I didn't really care for Sleeping Beauty that much when I was a younger kid, but don't, I'm not saying I hate it. And how is this movie? Well, going in, I wasn't really that excited for it, because here's the thing with this movie. In my opinion, it just didn't look that great to me. It didn't look terrible, but it didn't look that great. It looked like it was still going in the same direction. Alice in Wonderland, then Oz the Great and Powerful, and now this. Surprisingly, my low expectations actually kind of helped. I didn't hate this movie. I actually kind of liked it. I thought it was a decent film. I don't think it was great, but I can acknowledge that it's not an awful movie either. What could I say is great about the movie? Well, hands down, the best thing about this movie is Angelina Jolie. She was incredible. She embodied the role perfectly. The voice, her cheeks, if you look at the way her cheeks look, that is so cool. And just her acting was fantastic. If she wasn't in this movie, this movie would have probably been awful. It would have been god-awful if she wasn't in it. No one has given her hate. Everybody has praised her performance, and that's great. I'm so pleased with that. I really, really am. I thought the visuals were decent, but I felt like they were more focused on than the story. Now, the story was okay. I didn't really love the story, but I felt like the director, who happens to be a production designer on um, Avatar, he felt it was better to focus on the visuals than the story. I mean, I'm sure that's not what he wanted, but... That's how it turned out for me, at least. The story was decent, you know, I mean, they made some changes, but, you know, it's understandable. I'm not going to spoil what they do, but it's pretty interesting how it turns out in the end. The movie's fast-paced, but it feels so rushed. I feel like that if the movie was a little, little longer, like about 15 minutes longer, it wouldn't have felt rushed. It kind of felt rushed to me. To me, at least. And that might disappoint some people who are really, really excited for this movie. What else didn't I like about the movie? Ellie Fan. I didn't give a shit about her. First of all, she was like this. Oh, look at these flowers. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna live with you all of a sudden. I'm so beautiful. No. You're not beautiful. You're meh. You're meh. I didn't care for you in the movie, Ellie Fan. And I'm sorry, you're a good actress. You were great in Super 8. Your sister's amazing, by the way. Alright, I'm gonna stop calling her you. But Ellie Fan, it just felt forced. I felt like she wasn't important. Everything I'm saying right now is my opinion. And lastly, there's one other person I want to talk about. Charlie Till Copley. I loved the guy. I loved him in District 9. I loved him in Elysium. Here, he was a prick. I get it. His character's supposed to be a prick, but I didn't even care. I... I was ashamed because that guy's such a good actor, and it sucks that he just didn't do anything. And it sucks that he wasn't great like he was in Elysium at District 9. Like I said, the movie's fast-paced, but it just I'm just going to say this right now. The way it ends, it ends... It ends interesting. I really don't know how I feel about this movie. I, I just don't know. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Girls are going to love it. They're going to poop. They're gonna poop. Don't ask me what that means. Just watch Chris Stuckman's review. I'm sorry, Chris, for copying you, but that line, you haven't used it in, like, in five months. You're great, by the way. Teenagers, like, my age, 14 through 18, girls are gonna like it. Guys might like it. I don't want to sound like a sexist, but it could be true. There are some girls I know who didn't even like this movie, but all little kids love it. That's what I'm just gonna say right now. There were so many little kids in fear. They all loved it. When you're a little kid, you love, like, everything. So, overall, uh, this is a decent film. It's not that great of a movie. I thought it was a little too rushed. Angelina Jolie was fantastic in the movie. Ellie Fan, bleh. Charlotte Copley, sadly, not that good in the movie. Visuals, good. Music, good. Decent film. Not terrible. I'm giving it a B. So, guys, tell me down below. What did you think of Maleficent? What's your favorite Disney villain? And what's your favorite Disney movie? My favorite Disney villain would probably have to be Scar. My favorite Disney movie... I don't know, honestly. You can tell me that in the comments. Thank you all for watching my review of Maleficent, and I'll see you soon.